Welcome to Let's Play Mystical Ninja Episode 15. We are now in the last dungeon of the game, and what a hell of a dungeon it is. The gorgeous musical castle! Welcome one and all to pain. Is it really that bad? Eh, not really. I mean, how bad could a, you know, a dungeon in space be? It's not the fact that it's hard, it's the fact that it can be a little confusing sometimes. It's very, very labyrinthine, kind of. It's not as bad as, uh, Festival Temple Castle, not as bad as that. But, uh, it can get a little confusing sometimes, can get a little weird. I do get lost a couple of times, but... Don't worry, it's not gonna be that bad. Now, I'm, I'm noticing a lack of floor and a lot of, you know, going up and platforming. Is there a lot of that in this one? There's a lot of challenges the game throws at you, because this is like, this is the final level, pretty much, so they're gonna throw a lot of stuff your way. What that really means is you're gonna be using Sasuke's flying maneuver a whole lot, so let's go ahead and do that! <laughs> what do you say? Oh good, we get to blast off! Woohoo! <laughs> and that's how you get that key. I, I still find it hilarious, he like screams in pain whenever he blasts off. Well yeah, I mean, that shit's hot. It's, it's literally coming out of his back. Well, with the training you did, shouldn't you have, you know, found something against that? He's a robot, what do you expect? Oh, well, yeah, okay. Only as smart as we make him. Of course. That is bet his AI needs to be updated. Yeah, wh what's he running, XP? Well, the Meiji era, I don't think they had XP back then. Mm, so he... Pro so I'd say Windows 95, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I w my next suggestion was the hamster on a wheel. <laughs> A lot of razor blades going out there, but uh, again, we have so much fucking health, it yeah. really doesn't matter. <laughs> I didn't With even armor notice you top. lost it. Oh yeah, because we have armor on, we don't really, you know, get hurt, we just oh, lose right. some armor. Yeah. Oh, that's hilarious. And there are five fortune dolls in this dungeon, There are, th and we'll be getting three of them in this episode. Okay. And remember, if you have two hearts left, like two two empty hearts, then you're totally fine. For all of not, you... If not, then you're fucked. For all of you 100 percenters out there... Alright, moving on. Ah, oh, oh, the fans. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yes! And, and then lava. You know, it wouldn't be an Ultra Director just for Let's Play without burning myself. Oh, yeah. And weren't you burning yourself all the time as Sasuke last time? So this is almost too perfect. He's a one hot little robot. But, um, Tish. Yeah, it was a bit of a stretch. <laughs> God, it, I love that. Not like it matters! I know it, it doesn't! doesn't. It, it doesn't fucking matter! No, I Cause just... Because there's, there's a golden dumpling right fucking there! See, that's what I find hilarious. Because... It might be the N64 processing. I don't. I don't know what you want to call it. But the fastest way to get across a room when there's lava is to literally just toast yourself. <laughs> you go so much faster. It's, it's well. Remember Ocarina of Time in the Fire Temple when you're in that big open room. The fastest way to get there is just to run across yeah, the exactly. lava. <laughs> like it fucking. Ma <laughs> What's it matter? I've got like three fairies. Yeah. Yeah. You pretty much do. You could just. You could basically, you know, strong arm this entire dungeon. Let's get through that's, it all. That's that's what we do. We're gonna strong arm the whole thing. Well, we got a golden key now, so I think we can head back to the room that we came in at. Let's back through here again. I do like the uh, the color palette this dungeon has. I don't think I ever mentioned it in any of the other dungeons, but they all seem to be very colorful. This one especially. I think that's another reason why I like this game. The art style and the art direction is is, is very lovely. A lot of great style and design. It's great. Well, that also goes along with the lore that's paired up with it. Of course. It's it's a parody, and it's also uh, being demonstrated. Oh, wow. Like, like, this is pretty much no theater. Yeah? That's, that's no theater, N-O-H theater. There ain't no theater. Ah, I can't get up there, so I have to go as Goemon, but where do we get up there at? Hmm. Hmm. How about up here? Let's see if we can up. So you can't be in that oops animation and do your flying thing, so you have to be standing still, perfectly still, but in your in your real animation in order to do the flying thing. You were like oops. one whole step away though. I know, right? 
And we got the map, so that, that's another good thing. We got maps in all, all the other dungeons except Festival Temple, because it's apparently elusive as fuck. <laughs> well, didn't you know about the hidden wall? Wow, two floors? Yeah, only two floors. But it's a big dungeon, don't get me wrong. Is there a lot of up, I guess? Uh, there are a lot of tiny rooms. So we'll go Super Saiyan again. <laughs> yes! Last time we'll probably ever need to be Super Saiyan. Damn it! But now we need to switch back to Sasuke again. <laughs> Just to use, do that. I think. What am I trying to do? Oh, that's right. They had the star block there. But You know, I bet you probably could manage to do the flying thing. Which I think I'm going to demonstrate right here. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. But I'll play the games way, just because I'm a good sport. So, somehow got that gold key. How dare you make fun of the game like that? It's like, I'm not gonna play by your rules. No way. <laughs> so we'll head this way, because I just got a feeling we should head this way. Oh, wow. Yeah, really, really interesting design of these dungeons. Love it. Notice they have a uh, liberal use of the copy and paste tool. Oh, yeah, but to give it consistency. I, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining about N64 having to do what they have to do to make this semi-decent looking, and they definitely do that. There's our first fortune doll right there. Oh! And I'm sorry the N64 can't run DirectX 11, alright? You're just gonna have to live with it, okay? <laughs> God, can you can you imagine if YouTube couldn't even, couldn't even handle this low of a resolution? <laughs> Well, remember, my capture, uh, my Hop Hodge capture card can't even handle N64 oh, that's or PlayStation right. 1. Because the resolution is literally too small for it. <laughs> what is this old bullshit? <laughs> another fortune doll. Jeez, another one? Yep. And that was the easiest one to find. Because, well, it's up there in plain day. The other, uh, the other three are a little bit tricky. One of them is really, really tricky to find, but uh, we'll get to that. Till then, we'll just go along this upper wall here. Now, since this is the last dungeon, and you said one of the fortune dolls is very tricky to find, is it like out of your way? Is it in plain sight, or what are we talking here? Uh, well, we're gonna, well it, it's gonna be in the next episode. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll talk show about it out it there. Then. It's not, like, ridiculously difficult or, you know, really cryptic or anything, but it's it's just a little... It's got a trick to it. Okay. It's it's hiding. Alright, so we need a gold key somewhere. And the diamond key from the looks of it. Mm -hmm. So, going, going out the diamond key, that's probably the way to the end of the dungeon, pretty much. So, let's do a little bit of backtrack and see if we missed anything, <laughs> and burn ourselves in the process! Yes! Laugh, damn you! Now, I did realize that uh, you know, in order to make this level seem bigger than it is, there's a lot of up. There's, yeah, there's a lot of up, and if you fall, you have to go a long way back. So I can see kind of uh, manufactured difficulty, I guess, is what I want to call it. They're just making it seem big, because remember, N64. Yeah, yeah. There is a lot of up, but there are a lot of rooms as well. Mm-hmm. So not only is it tall, it's wide. These drums take us all the way back up. Oh my gosh, I miss go. my N64. It's a good console. Yes, it is. It had so many games. People just don't give it a fair chance. I do right. wish they would update the virtual console every now and again. Oh, no shit. As in, at all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Looks like that there's a door, like a, a room right there in between that I'm missing. So let's see if we can't try and head in there somewhere. Yeah. See, th this dungeon can be a little bit confusing, but it's confusing in, you know, you gotta explore a little bit instead of, WHAT THE FUCK I WAS ALREADY HERE! HOW DID I GET BACK THERE? I'M GOING AROUND IN CIRCLES AGAIN! OH MY GOD! In fact, I'm pretty sure I'm going around in circles, though. It's still not as bad. You can't ever tell me that Gorgeous Musical Castle is worse than Festival Temple. Because it fucking isn't. <laughs> I'm just thinking, what are the, these, like, robots in the in the front of the castle, their only job is to throw logs at you? It's the welcoming committee. Oh, right, right, oh, welcoming the heroes. Look at that, full health, you know, 
Just like how we started the dungeon. Full health and everything. Less armor, but still. I didn't even notice your armor was going down. At half the time, I don't even notice I'm getting hit. Because <laughs> you don't see anything. You know, just shake it off. Jump into the lava, who cares? Alright, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be straight with you. I'm lost. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty lost right now. So, we're gonna start fading out here. Start fading. Yep, yeah, th that's right. Just keep fading out. All right. Okay, that's good. Keep it going. Keep it going. And, and there. Okay, we need to be Ebisu for this one because there was one little thing we missed. Oh, didn't even everybody, see that. Everybody gets theirs in this dungeon. Everyone gets theirs. And now we really don't even need Ebisu for this room. We just need him to get in the room. See, I would have thought there'd be like a wind-up camera thing because this is the real this is the room that only Ebisu can be in, right? Right, right. <laughs> nope, it's just get fast with this tiny door, get, let him get the key, and then we don't need him again! You have outlived your usefulness, Ebisumaru. Outlived your heart condition too. Jeez. <laughs> there is a gold key, gold lock under there, you probably didn't see it because the camera's in the way, but. Moving on! Oh my gosh, these guys again! Secondary welcoming committee. W welcome to the space castle. Here's some shit. Well, maybe I can show off the uh, meat saw hammer. I have no idea how it works. And it just makes you drop more dumplings, really. Really useless. Well, I mean, you're such in a position where you're hurting for health. It's about half as useless as uh, Yai's bazooka. I say half as useless because, well, it actually kills enemies. <laughs> You can't blame the game on your terrible shooting abilities. Now here's where the game decides to get naughty. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Mm -hmm. You're sliding on textures. Oh. Mm -hmm. This is not a fun part of the game. I'm not gonna lie to you, man. Oh. This oh. is. If anything, this is about as high difficulty as the dungeon can get. <laughs> this Simple is really platforming, ah! This is seriously the hardest part, but uh, the, the key is to jump when it's tur when it's turning. Oh, okay. It's like that one level in a uh, Super Mario 3D World. Oh yeah. Or we could just do flying and just cheese the whole thing. There we go. Well, of course. Cheese the whole thing. Look at me bringing Dark Souls into this, as always. Do you cheese all of Dark Souls? Eh, not really. Or is that just a term? Now this is where it gets really mean because this <laughs> box changes height too, and oh, it's so mean. And uh, well, here's the thing about this one. Uh. The dirty secret about that is that uh, I accidentally already did it, and I didn't show all you fine people. But trust me, I did it, and it wasn't fun. But luckily, well. the diamond key. Awesome. So now, we're gonna head back to where the diamond key was, which is... Uh, a long way away. WELCOME! <laughs> That's a farewell committee this time. Oh, okay. GOODBYE! Have a parting gift! <laughs> I'm going the wrong ass way. I noticed! <laughs> and I just realized that too, it's like, NO! I WENT THE WRONG WAY! <laughs> NO! 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 <laughs> okay, so, for real now. We got the diamond key, we got a means to get there, and we gotta bring those stairs down again. Okay, that's fine, whatever. And you have a drive to be the best! I am the best. Have you seen my money? Have you seen my lives? My health? My dolls? I am the best. You know what? You're absolutely right. For all the Let's Plays of uh, Mystical Ninja starring Goemon, you know, anything with Goemon's name in it, you are the best I've seen. I should take copy of that or not. Because you're the only one I've seen. <laughs> <laughs> and there it is. Uh. Oh, wow. Okay. See, it's pretty unique. It's interesting ideas going on. They always throw those cool ideas. Yeah. Oh, wow. I actually didn't see that coming. There we go. Uh. <laughs> All right. Now, this one is a little tricky, a little uh, well-hidden. 
to do. Oh. Is go around over here, hop on over here, and then get ourselves situated. Get situated, situated, situ Come on, Sasuke, get your balance. Get your fucking balance, man. Come on. Come on. All right. And then fly up. And there's your fortune doll. That right is over there. really cryptic. Oh, yeah. A lot of these fortune dolls really are cryptic, and you have to pretty much look at a guide to know where they are, or be really, really thorough. But now there's only two fortune dolls left in the game! There's something down there, I'm sure Yai will go ahead and get another extra life that, you know what, <laughs> we don't even fucking need and we can't even get. That's a shame. Because we have max lives. We are that OP. If you want to call it that. Well, let's say we're overpowered ninjas. I mean, nothing can stop us at this point. Except for the nine-tailed fox! Thank you. And what the hell is this place, you're asking? What the hell is this place, I'm asking? Uh, are you asking? I don't know. Oh, God! Doesn't that song sound familiar? Oh. Yeah! Yeah! It's the same as Edo Town. No way. Because this is a town. D what? We are at a at another restaurant, or I mean a general store. In the middle of a dungeon. We're gonna trade our uh, plum rice balls for a fish rice balls, which fully recovers our strength if we go to zero. That's how overpowered we are. Oh my gosh. These roses are a dick bag and a half, tell you what. <laughs> I was just thinking that exact same thing. Wow, these are really annoying. Uh-huh, they are. We're heading here. I don't think I've ever shown off the inn before, have I? Because we never really needed it. Exactly, yeah. So we'll spend the night at the most expensive room in the entire game. The gold just put suit. it on my tab. I could stay there for like three years if I wanted to. <laughs> Seriously, just put a down payment saying I'm staying here for a year, thank you. And that's like half my money. You can also save as well, if you, if you prefer. Without have, you don't have to go to a dungeon every time if you want to save. Hmm, okay. so There's that, moving on! Oh god! Roses are terrible! I hate these things. Ah! Luckily, this is where the coins come in handy, so that way you can take them out ahead of time and not have to worry about those stupid roses. You can just see there, and gone. There. Brilliant. So there's your pro trip, your uh, pro tip for you there. See, this is why you're playing. I would have botched this so bad. Take it from the UDJ man. <laughs> As in plural, there. the UDJ men. Well. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Alright, where should we head in first? Let's see, uh, how about this place? Alright, uh, restaurant. Let's, uh, let's get some food. Let's get some Chanpon noodles! Lots of vegetables, lots of seafood, increase five points, there you go! Alright, I'm full now. Now this is just making me hungry. And check out this building, too. Whoa, you just went into negative space. And there's Omitsu. What? But first, let's get our uh, let's uh, restock on our armor. Pick up a helmet. And uh, check. And this this is nice. I get the gold armor, but we already have we already have it. But uh, the endurance has decreased, and so we can just trade it out. And there you go. Oh wow. You know, some games will say no. You're not allowed to have that now. You know. Hmm. So what's up, Amitsu? We haven't seen you for a while. And Goemon is elated. Stunned silence, I know. Seeing this massive drama leaking from the screen. I'm just taking it in, hoping my microphone doesn't pick up the tears. Stay strong, man. Steal yourself. We got... <laughs> We have a world to save! <gasps> it's okay, it's okay, it's alright. 
Okay. <laughs> You're just so perfect for each other. So, oh, Omitsu's actually helping us. She says that there is a door ahead of us that we can't break down with our current weapons. Well, and, and now what? Are being comic relief. So now, we, she knows someone who can help us. Well, who is that? I was like, huh, is that the restaurant? Uh... I'm Someone calling it right store. now. I'm gonna make a prediction. It's gonna be old man. Hmm. No, actually, sorry. Hmm. It's gonna be impact. He's just gonna be sitting at one of the. Uh, you were right <laughs> the, the first time. There. Oh yeah. Oh, wise, wise man. man. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he does look old, but uh, he is very wise. I he see it now. He could be thirty-five for all you know. Look, uh, maybe he's pulling a Steve Martin on me. Maybe he's like 20 and has got all the white hair and beard and everything. Yeah, don't say that. I'm getting all this fucking gray hair. <laughs> yeah. Oh. That's that's going to be me when I turn 35. I'll tell that, you what. Oh, that'll work. You mean in one year? So the Peach Mountain guys forced him to make all this shit. Hmm. They kidnapped him and all these robots, all this shit. The, those are robots created by Wise Man. And so, <laughs> it gets it, it gets better. Oh, and it's like, uh, no, I'm fine. I'm, I'm not dead. It's like, well, uh, why did they blow up your house then? <laughs> Wait, what? Oh no! Oh god, my house! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> That's gotta suck. That's good. They kidnapped you, then they blow up their blow up your house. I mean, that's that's bullshit. And so he says, "Here, give me your weapons. I'll make them level three for free." Whoa! There you go. Oh yeah. So now, if we weren't if we weren't overpowered enough, now we're even fucking more overpowered. This let's play is taking some wild turns. Oh, so uh, yeah, Go Goemon gets this gigantic ass golden pipe. Maybe Samara has a gigantic ass golden hammer. Sasuke gets this uh, nifty gold kunai with the red streaks at the end, and Yai just gets a nice nifty golden sword with a green sh sword shield. I'm glad in video games gold is considered powerful. Yeah, except for Minecraft. It, well, yeah. All right. Let's keep it moving. Time to take down the door with our new golden powers. We can take these guys out in one hit. Nice. With this door, we can just... <laughs> yeah. Yes! Alright, and through this door lies the last part of the game. And we'll save that for next time. Well, let's play Mystic Ninja starring Go-A-Mon. Oh my god, you're such a tease. 